Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. Does Article 3 establish the limits of the court's powers? The U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and Article 3 is a critical piece of this foundational document. It establishes the judicial branch of the federal government, including the Supreme Court and other federal courts. But does it also set the limits of these courts' powers? The answer lies in the text of the Constitution itself. Article 3, Section 1, establishes the Supreme Court and gives Congress the power to create lower federal courts. It also guarantees that federal judges hold their offices during good behavior, essentially granting them life tenure. Article 3, Section 2, outlines the jurisdiction of federal courts. It grants them the authority to hear cases arising under the Constitution, federal laws, treaties, controversies involving multiple states, and more. However, it does not explicitly define the limits of these powers. The Supreme Court's power of judicial review, the ability to declare laws unconstitutional, is not explicitly mentioned in Article 3 or anywhere else in the Constitution. This power was established by the landmark case Marbury v. Madison in 1803, and it has been a central part of the court's role ever since. So, while Article 3 establishes the federal judiciary and outlines its jurisdiction, it does not explicitly set the limits of the court's powers. These limits have been largely defined by subsequent laws, court decisions, and constitutional amendments. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.